Well, welcome back to our City Rise podcast. We are talking about discipleship today, and we are joined this morning by a couple of our student ministry team members, Tim and Ashley, and they're going to be talking about uh, their discipleship journey and what discipleship means to them. And so I just want to start off and just ask first, Tim, Tim, has there been someone who was influential in your personal discipleship journey development? And uh, tell us about that. Yeah. So when I think about the person that was most influential in my discipleship journey, I kind of think about when I first started to take my faith seriously. And that was about 18 years old and I was a senior in high school. And uh, luckily for me, I went to a big, pu big public school, but my high school basketball coach was also a believer. And so we had many conversations that just greatly enriched my life. And, you know, at that stage as well, you're kind of shifting from parent to mentor as well. And so I was looking for an older adult male that wasn't necessarily dad. Now, my mom and dad did a great job, but just uh, there's an internal shift around that stage of life where you're looking for another um, adult male mentor for me. And so it happened to be him. And so he greatly encouraged me. Um, he always spoke wisdom into me. Um, he spoke biblical, biblical truths into me at a young age. And then even when I went off to college, um, we didn't talk as regularly, um, but we also we went to Peru one summer together on like a basketball trip, mission trip as well. And he really mm -hmm. um, we got to serve together. And that was when, man, that week in Peru of serving together with him and with some other guys in the basketball world that that he was also a mentor to. Uh, which is greatly impactful in my life. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Ashley, I'll ask the same question to you. Who was influential in your personal uh, discipleship development and journey? And uh, tell us about that. Yeah, so someone who was very influential in my my, my life was my Momo, Adela Mix. Uh, when I first became a Christian, I was pretty young. I was 12. And she greatly influenced the way she, I was led. Uh, she took her faith seriously. So scripture was so powerful in her life. Mm -hmm. She would sing it. She would help me memorize it. Uh, and I just, it, it made the fruits of the sp spirit tangible because I was like, being patient is I can achieve that. Like having self-control and the way she treated my family, I, I learned that from her. Mm -hmm. And so, but because that was so valuable in my life, I realized in every season I need someone leading me. And so that also in the way of my life, I, uh, many other women leading me in, in my relationship oh, with that's Jesus. Great. That's great. Thanks. I, I guess my next question would be simply this is, uh, as we are looking forward into this great series, what are you guys' plans on how you're going to uh, expand your discipleship capacity pair up, be a part of a group, maybe? What are you looking forward to doing in and through this great series? Yeah. So what we look forward to um, in the discipleship journey for this series, great within the student ministry specifically, is we made a student version of this series for our students. And so uh, we'll lead them through the series and then obviously make ourselves available um, to pair off with students that want to go maybe more in depth. There's always students that um, are asking maybe deeper questions than uh, maybe the, the majority of the crowd. And so we'll make ourselves available to pair up with those students and meet up with them for discipleship. And then personally speaking, I mean, I, I have a group of guys that I meet with every Monday morning, and I think it's going to be a combination of talking about this series with them, but also deploying each one of us in our own personal discipleship to look forward people and, you know, uh, in our circles, in our neighborhoods, in our, yeah, our circles of influence to be able to pair up and start leading them through yeah. um, this series and, 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 you know, taking a jab at uh, starting to make disciples now that we, you know, are disciples and, and doing that on a regular basis. That's awesome. Ashley, I ask you that same question. How, how would you, what are your plans as far as pairing up, grouping up? How are you going to expand discipleship for you personally in and through this great series? Right. Well, with this series starting, the conversation will start being, you know, more present in our groups. And it will be really sweet to see. I've been discipling seniors and I think helping them step into discipleship with our younger girls at the ministry in this last semester before they go off to college, like partnering partnering them up with maybe some freshmen who want to take it some more seriously. Um, it's always just kind of been having that keen eye to see, okay, who's having the seed being planted, who really mm. wants to take maturity at another level when it comes to wanting to live like Jesus and just inviting them into your home and into your life and living with them. Amen. Well, that's great. Thank you guys for joining us on this podcast. Looking forward to uh, great and all that God's going to do in and through that for our church. 